Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop. Here with a new one from Fenix, it's the HT30R. It's their sort of upgraded version of the LEP uh, that they had come out, which was the TK30. It is going to be 1500 meters distance, coming out about 500 lumen LEP, which is really cool. So there's some great features on this light, I'll get to in a minute. But before I do that, see what we'll get in the pack and then we can dive straight into this light. Da -da -da -da. First of all, obviously you get your HT30. Now, that does come included with a 21700 battery and you can get other uh, 21700 button top protected cells for that uh, if you wanted to sort of run that uh, on an external charger or something like that. Also with this LEP, you get a holster which actually um, doesn't come with a lot of the other LEP. So if that's something you're interested in, this one's great that it actually comes with a nice sort of nylon holster, quite rigid at the back. Um, yeah, pretty decent holster. Comes with a USB-C to normal USB or USB-A charging. So it does have a charging port. Now that is integrated in the torch just by slowly twisting the head and it'll sort of reveal itself. Now there's quite a decent sort of O-ring there so you don't have to worry about it sealing up or anything like that. Uh, it is quite nice and tight. You get a lanyard and sort of a couple spare o-rings in that little pack get a little catalog and you get your warranty card now fedex just makes some beautiful products we don't really see any back at all uh so yeah the warranty is um really second to none when things do come back but yeah i would be very confident to say that um yeah your light is going to be good for years and years and years and you get your all important user manual so Definitely worth the read of this. Get to know your light before you use it, like I say, every week. Uh, because, yeah, the more you know your light, you know, the more years and usage you're going to get out of it, for sure. So that's what you get in the pack. So if we dive straight into the light, uh, it comes with pocket clip. You can take that off, obviously, if you wanted to run your lanyard or you wanted to run a holster as well. But really, really nice, solid-looking torch. If we want to compare that to some of the other LEPs, so we've got the Jetbeam RRT M2S. So this is their sort of smaller version, I suppose, of their LEP. So it's a little bit longer in sort of body and everything. So, and the head is going to be a little bit bigger as well. And then you compare that to something like the Ace Beam W30. As you can see, it's the head itself is quite a lot smaller and the body too is a little bit smaller too, so if you can get that for you a bit better. So that shines out sort of two and a half kilometers. This one's 1500, just because of that smaller head, it's not able to uh, focus that LEP light in as much, but 1500 meters is, yeah, more than enough. I found this one very, very usable as far as LEPs go. Because it doesn't sort of punch out so, so far, Gives you quite a nice peripheral view. Nice toggle switch on the back there to toggle through the modes. Now it does have three modes. It's got a strobe, a high and a low, which is pretty much all you need for an LEP. Low mode, fantastic. Really gets that light out to a sort of probably under a kilometer, but yeah, it really does punch that out a nice distance and gives you a really good field of view. And then you push it up to the high mode and it just lights up that field of view really excellently. IP68 rated, waterproof rating, one meter drop resistant, pretty standard stuff in um, all this nice hard anodized aluminium flashlights these days. Yeah, you're going to come to expect that sort of reliability. So it's going to peak out at about 600,000 candela and get you over seven hours runtime on that 21700 battery. But if you do get another sort of 21700 battery, then yeah, you're gonna sort of double those run times. So more than enough usability for a full night if you sort of wanted to have an extra battery with you if you want to get that all night light output. Jumping into your outputs and run times now though. So we're looking at strobe, 500 lumens as a self-defense thing, perfect. But yeah, other than that, uh, probably wouldn't be too usable. Low mode is going to give you 100 lumens for seven hours and 15 minutes. And like I said, that just gets out a really nice distance, got a really good field of view. And then if you want to just intensify that field of view, you just jump it up to that high mode. Speaking of high mode, 500 lumens gets the full 1500 meters distance and it's gonna give you about two hours and 20 minutes, which is quite a long time for an intense light. That is a really long amount of use. So while I usually use my LEPs, um, I usually turn it on. I'll get that little, and then sort of see what I wanna view or if I wanna push out a little bit further, but I would never really have it on for two hours and 20 minutes. Um, 
yeah, it's not really something I would use an LEP for. But if you're saying that if you're out there hunting and you're out there wanting to see uh, quite a long distance and really want to narrow in on something and it's going to take you a little bit more time or you're a sort of search and rescue or wanting to just see a longer distance, two hours and 20 minutes is a really, really long time. And not to mention once that battery is depleted, you can get another 21700 in there and just increase those run times again. Overall, I mean, Fenix have just made a really, really fantastic light and updated it in sort of the areas that, not not to say the TK30 was a bad light, but um, it was really fantastic, really usable LEP actually. So they've just sort of made some slight changes. As you can see, they haven't made it crazy like a lot bigger or tried to sort of get into the realm of the uh, W30 like the Ace Beam, but they've just made some really cool changes and just made it really functional. So yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a functional LEP, which is sort of, uh, can be hard to come by if you're new to the LEP space, yeah, this one's definitely one to look at. I'll drop a link below to the Fenix HT30R, also to the Fenix range, so you can check out all their products. They've got, got some really high quality torches there and um, HT30Rs, no exception. So if you're looking for an LEP, nice and usable, pretty compact, comes with a holster and a bunch of other sort of gear, definitely one to keep in mind. But thanks for watching this one. Please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. We do have new content coming out all the time. Let me know in the comments below if you wanted to see anything uh, that we range or against sort of head to head or anything like that. Really love hearing from you, but hit that bell notification, keep yourself up to date with new content and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.